Well, since I learned of a few new things coming in the 0 0.18 update of Kerbal Space Program, I decided I would uh, make another video. This is more picture of solar panels falling off when entering the atmosphere. This is a new docking part. That's a one meter part that is a docking thing it, inside, so it comes out. That's... Oh, I'm going to need to make some smaller space planes to use that, I guess. Um... Here's the space plane, speaking of. This is before that part was added, I guess, obviously, because it has one of the other hubs attached there. Then we have this, which, to show you the new look of the, uh, like, when you right-click on a part, and this is the RAM air intake, and you can see it has, you know, these stats, and the, and the missing wing, and the missing engine, yeah. And then... This picture isn't all that significant, other than it's uh, the same space plane as this one. But, look over here in the, uh, sorry, you can't see my mouse, can you? Uh, look in the, look on the island, uh, on, the, on the right side there. Do you, do you see that? Doesn't that look like a landing strip to you? My god, it's a landing strip on this island out in the ocean. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, this is someone took this screen cap. Uh, C7 uh, was talking about the ISP and thrust of the aerospikes. Max thrust is 175. In atmosphere, the ISP is 388. And in space, it's 390. Uh, he got it backwards at first, but then he corrected himself. I think I already showed you this picture, but, you know, it's some of the parts. Those are floodlights at the top there attached to a ball which is a command pod, an unmanned command pod if I remember correctly that ball is. I might be wrong on that. I'm pretty sure I'm right on that though. This, um, oh yeah, that it is a ball and here's what it is. It's the Stay Put Nick Mark II. Our most popular satellite core, Stay Put Nick in the simple lightweight sphere construct of aluminum with lots of surface area for attaching things. The Mark II model includes an underside mounting bracket. Yeah, so that's what that is right there. And then we also have the pro, uh, how do you say that? Probodobidbodine OKTO. Uh, yeah, well. It's a core for uh, an unmanned pod. So yes, there are unmanned things you can do now in KSP in point eighteen. Um, also, speaking which of, okay, this isn't such a good picture because it's so tiny. I'm sorry, but uh, you can see the new look of the VAB or SBH interface here. Yeah, and you can see the new look of some of the parts if you zoom in a bit. Although it's a very small image. I think I already showed this one, but you can see there's the new truss parts. Someone uh, created an emergency escape tower with this. Um, here's an example. Uh, they crashed a Kerbal into the uh, solar panel and destroyed it, or damaged it. Sweet of one of the devs, I heard one of the devs talking about this earlier and saying that they'd like to add an ability to fix these with like some sort of consumable item that allows you to fix the solar panels. I'm curious if it's like duct tape and you go out and retrieve these and bring them back and attach them, or if the consumable is more solar panels which you reattach to the device. Um, here's the action groups. I forget if I showed this. I might have shown this already, but uh, see, for example, he's he has this engine highlighted and he can toggle the engine, jettison, jettison. Oh, that would be like the fairing not payload fairing, but like the engine fairing. Uh, I'm getting messages on Steam. Sorry, sorry, Audax Feature. Um, and yeah, there's different action groups for different things. So you can you can have different landing gear, even for your brake key or your landing gear key or whatever. You know, G and B and stuff. I think. I'm guessing based on looking at the way this is set up right here that you can. Uh, maybe have certain wheels not break when you turn on the brakes or uh, you know maybe certain landing gear don't respond to pressing the G key that would certainly be helpful for some of my designs maybe you could even make it so that your landing gear start uh, uh, not deployed for the uh, 
for the landing gear, uh, the wheeled ones, you know. Uh, here's here's a vehicle that was made. Uh, you can see the orange little uh, thrusters on the bottom there. Those are the uh, what you might call it. Those are a words that I can't think of right now. Um, they're tiny radial liquid fuel powered motors. Uh, at the top we have these little ball things that I don't know what they are. Got trusses and whatnot, and there's a docking clamp thing there, and you know, stuff. And then, oh yes, this is the tuna can, which you've already seen in that other, vi in that video that, uh, C7 put up with the internal view of the tin can, because that was the module he used for his space station, which he brought down. And yeah. I'm just really excited about this stuff. So, yeah. Cool. Thanks for watching, etc., etc. See you in space.